hip external rotation, passive range of motion. Our zero position is we're gonna use the uh, anterior midline of the leg as our indicator. That's gonna be parallel with the line of gravity. As we move into external rotation, any hip range of motion measurements, we always need to be aware of pelvic sub substitutions. Is it okay if I put my hands on your pelvis on this side? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna stabilize at the PSIS on this side and rotate into external rotation. One of the substitutions is you can get elevation of the pelvis on this test side. So I'm gonna firmly stabilize the pelvis with my right hand, getting and hitting the tissue barrier there, spring against the barrier. Um, now that I've established the physiological end range, as long as I hold her leg in that position, I don't have to maintain stability of the pelvis anymore. I can come around, I can take an estimate, about 40 degrees, and then my reference is going to be parallel with vertical line or gravity, and the indicator is parallel with the anterior midline of the leg.